Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do slow motion using iMovie. And I'm going to show you two ways. One really easy way and another way that's I think it's a little bit more powerful and adds a little bit more uh, customization of how it goes from normal speed to slow and back. So let's get into it. Let me grab a piece of video and I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the timeline here. I'm going to bump up the size so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. And let's mute this clip so we don't get interrupted by any noise. So with slow motion, you kind of want to make sure your video is at a higher frame rate if you want it to look smooth. So for example, this day I'm filming in 4K at 60 frames per second. So shooting at 60 frames per second makes it so when I slow it down, it doesn't look jittery. But if I shot it at 30 frames per second or maybe even 24, and I wanted to do slow motion, it's not going to look that good. The software, iMovie and Final Cut and all the other ones are going to try to do their best to make it look good. But, you know, it's only going to be as good as as many frames per second you have. So this one is shot at 60, so it should turn out looking pretty good. Now, the first way, what I'm going to do is find the spot I want it to slow down. And I kind of want it just to slow down right as the person is driving by here. So I'm going to do a split. Right click and do that Command B. Or if you want to do the command B, you don't need to actually show this. So, and then I'll do a little bit further All right there. I'll do another one here. We'll split it again. So this clip here, I actually want to slow down. So what you're going to do is click it here and highlight it. Then you go up to this speedometer or RPM gauge icon here, click on that. And then you're going to go to the selection here and we'll go to slow. And this is where you decide how slow you want it. So 10%, 25, 50, or auto. I'm gonna go ahead and go with 25% here. So let's, let's have a look and see how it looks. There we go. So once you set your clip to slow motion, you'll notice there's a turtle here, but he also got an extra little uh, control here that allows you to kind of drag it back a little bit. So if you don't want that certain percentage, you can actually kind of tailor it, custom tailor it just a little bit. So we'll do that. And then we'll have a look here. There we go. So that's the kind of the easy way to do it. You just put a split before and after, and then you go in and you actually decide what percentage do you want the clip to be. You go to slow, you pick your percentage, or you can hit auto and let the system decide, you know, based on the video footage itself, iMovie will kind of pick which one it, it really It'll try to pick the optimal one, basically. Okay, now I'm going to undo everything I did. And what, what I'm going to do here is just hold the command key and Z, the, the keyboard, the letter Z, and just undo everything I did. Okay, now we're back to normal. So the second way, and probably the one I would recommend, the way I like to do it, is I like to use uh, the R key on the keyboard to kind of select my area. So I hold the R key. You'll see that little yellow icon appears next to the scrubber there. You'll drag it for the amount of time you want it and then you let go and once you have these brackets here you can kind of control exactly where you want it to start and end so we got this little selection here and we'll do the same thing we're going to go up to the speedometer gauge or the rpm gauge we're going to go to slow and we'll let it just stay at 25 percent but what you'll notice here is now we have a, a tool on the video before the video in the middle or on the slow motion and then there's also one out there at the end so what we can do is so right now this previous clip is exactly as it should be but it it kind of does a, a transition a ramp down or ramp up to whichever slow motion or fast forward and it looks a lot cleaner than doing just a cut and doing it like we did previously and the cool thing is is here is um if you want to speed it up or slow the previous part down, you can do that now. So let's speed it up a little bit. You'll notice the rabbit icon actually just appeared. So now the one before is faster, a little bit faster, and then it slows down and it goes back. So this basically gives you the control to kind of ramp it in or ramp it out. So this basically gives you that little bit more control and the ability to actually slow down this part or speed it up as well as you know the, the section you actually want to slow down. You can slow it down or you can speed it up a little bit and you can get that exactly the look you're, you're, um, you, you're trying to go for. Okay, well that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank you for watching, of course. Don't forget, thumbs up, 
comment, subscribe, all that wonderful jazz, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and aloha. <laughs>